Welcome to the scholars learning classes. In this video we will be studying about the soil and crops. Now see we have been studying about the soil, the properties of soil, the types of soil, layers of soil and everything. But why are we studying about the soil? What is the need of studying about the soil? Right? Now if we see that there is a great need of studying for the soil because we get food from the soil. Now this is the reason we are studying about the soil that what kind of food, uh, plant require which soil and in which soil the plant will grow and which uh, soil is suitable for the particular type of plant. Now this is the reason for studying the types of soil. Now different types of soils are found in different places. The main, fa the main factors that affect the type of soil found at a place are the kinds of uh, parent rock, plant cover and climate of that particular area like your temperature, rainfall, humidity, sunshine and wind. Now the type of soil and the climatic factors of a place determine the plant that can grow well there. Now, some are the plants that grow in uh, the you know north region plants like uh, tea coffee that grow in the southern parts of india or in the eastern parts of the india right so different plants are grown in different areas according to their climate conditions and according to the temperature and weather they have Similarly, the kinds of crop that can be best grown in the region depends upon the type of soil that is present in that particular region. Now, the first I will be talking about the wheat and gram. See, wheat and gram requires the clay and loamy soils in order to grow. Second, if we talk about paddy, it requires soil rich in clay and organic matter with a good capacity to retain, to retain water. So it can grow in the soil which is rich in clay and organic matter. to retain water now see the sand the sandy soil if we talk about is not able to retain the water as the particles are very loose that water cannot sustain it uh, in the soil so the paddy requires a clay soil and the organic matter which can uh, retain the water. Third, if we talk about the lentils or the pulses, the best soil is the loamy soil that drains water easily or best. Fourth, for cotton, if I talk about sandy loom soil that has more sand is best it can hold air what is the how what, how is the property that is formed they can hold air but water drains easily because through sand water get drains easily so cotton requires a sandy and loom soil now these are the types of soil that are required for your different types of plants that you grow for your different types of food that you grow now, what are the uses of the soil now why soil is a natural resource we depend on the soil for food, clothing and shelter because we make our homes that require soil 
we have the cloth which you get from the plants like your cotton jute all these clothes we get from the plants and plants are grown in the soil food you get from the soil we depend on the soil for minerals right now industries use the minerals dug out from the earth to extract metals such as iron gold silver etc and for use in thousands of industries that produce various useful things for us like minerals such as coal petroleum natural gas these all are obtained from the soil we depend on the soil for water see your rain water see steeps down the soil and it gets uh, uh, you know collected into the water table and you get the underground water or the ground water due to the soil if there is no soil you won't get any underground water now this was all about your chapter soil we with this video we end up with your chapter which is soil i hope you have understood about the soil and the crops what are the crops and what are the different types of soil that are required in order to uh, grow that crop if you have any doubt any questions you can write me in the comment box and please download our scholars learning app